Hi everyone, I think heat embossing is the most magical part of stamping and paper crafting. It's really easy to do, it just requires a couple of tools and it's a lot of fun. So I'm gonna show you some of my tips for successful heat embossing. The first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need an ink that stays wet longer, allowing you time to work with your embossing powder. My favorite one is this Versamark Watermark Stamp Pad. And this is a great ink for that. And so that's what I'm gonna to use to stamp my image. But before I even stamp my image, I wanna prep my surface. The embossing powders can often become very staticky and stick in places that you don't want. So to help prevent that, what I do is I use this um, embossing magic, and this is an anti-static pad. And I like to keep it in a little bowl because it's got some powder that comes out that you can see. And so I like to just keep it in this little storage thing. And all I'm going to do is take and go over my surface with it and kind of just tap it out and rub it on here. And that's gonna help my surface and help um, the embossing powder not stick in places that I don't want it to stick. I'm gonna take my image and ink it up. And go ahead and stamp. Then I'm gonna come in with my powder. And there's a couple ways you could do your embossing powder. You can keep it in containers um, and, and put it back that way, but I keep it in its jar so that I know the colors that I have. And I use a scratch piece of paper. And so I'm gonna sprinkle the embossing powder towards the top of where my image was and gently shake it down. And I'm gonna go again because I didn't get enough powder on there. All right, and there we go. So now we have my image. I'm gonna take my extra powders and slide it back into its container so that I'm saving all the extra and not doing wasting because we don't want to waste any of those great powders. The next step is going to be applying heat to our embossed, to our powdered image. You're going to want to heat up your embossing tool for a minute or so before using it. I find that it heats the powders faster. And you're going to slowly move your heat tool back and forth over the powders, making sure not to get too close or staying in one place too long. You'll know that the heat embossing is finished when it goes from this flat, matte look to a shiny look. All right, and there we go. We have heat embossed our image. I want to show you a really cool trick. As you can see, I didn't stamp my image very well. And what you can do is go back in with, this is a Versamark pen. It's the exact same thing as the ink pad. It's just in a pen. And what I can do is I can go back in and just very gently color over the couple spots that I didn't get enough embossing powder in. Bring my paper back. And once again, apply my embossing powder, fill in those couple spots, save my extras. Now, there are all sorts of different heat tools out there on the market, and you may find that when you go to emboss your project that your heat tool may blow your powders all over the place. If that happens, I encourage you to heat your image from the back side of the image, um, a lot, stopping the powders from blowing all over. It's a really great trick for some of your embossing tools. Let's go ahead and set this powder. And there we have it, our solid heat embossed image. Now, aside from just using colored powders or metallic powders, there's another way that you can emboss, heat emboss your images and use colors. Remember I said that we needed an ink that stayed wet longer? Well, pigment inks are the perfect ink for embossing with. And the pigment inks from My Favorite Thing Stamps come in a ton of colors. So by stamping your image with a pigment ink and using a clear powder, you're going to allow the color of the ink to come through and then add some fantastic shine from the clear embossing powder. So there you go, some great tips for fantastic heat embossing.